Hello my fragrant friends. I am here today in my front yard. Clean up all uh, this little area here. You see it? It's got a lot of junk. Um let's walk around so I can tell you what was here. Right here I had some flowers that didn't really bloom. Some of them did, some of them didn't. There's that one there. And then this whole area over here was my sunflowers. Ooh, you can kind of see them. I'll have better pictures of them. Today I'm trying to clear out that area so I could get ready for spring. You see here that I have a black tarp to try to keep the weeds down. Worked. Kind of worked. Kind of didn't. Well, mainly worked. Because like I said, there's one. Whoop. There you are. One small piece of weed right there. So you didn't really see much, but they're still down there. So like I said, it's a 50-50 it's a on that one. Let's go over the tools I'll be using today. So today I have my handy dandy shovel. Always useful. I have my rake. This thing, which I still haven't figured out, put it over there. And my wheelbarrow. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm getting started in this angle today for the simple fact that there's shade here. Later on when the shade shifts, I'll be able to catch more. But we're getting started here anyway, so let's get started. Don't want my phone overheating like last time. That wasn't fun. All right, let me tell you what I've got going on. This here is the roll of that tarp that's there. I never put it away because that's who I am. But I'm hoping there's enough to redo this section. Okay, this section. Because I did this all wrong. I cut little strips going from here to there. And then again from here to there. From here. Instead of just cutting one long one all across. So I'm hoping this could do that. And I could throw all that away. Let's start measuring. Oh no. Bad sign number one. Bad sign number two. Uh, bad sign number three. I only have four strips. Alright. That's what happens when you don't think things out. You end up with a bunch of little strips that may be used. There's only one way to find out. Wait till springtime when you redo it. Things can go wrong. Might be able to get five strips out of this one. I mean, yeah, you know, two. We'll roll that up later. This one's uh, literally useless to me, but I'm still not going to throw it away until I'm completely done with the spring season. Way to screw up. Alright. I'm going to tie my shoe up because I'm going to fall. Let's get going. Yay. 
Another thing I did when I laid this down is I left the hose. Where is it? Ooh, see this right along there, all that. It goes all the way around in that way. Right around here, it goes underground. And so all this is underground. But from here, where is my finger? One finger right here, this finger. From here all the way around down to here is exposed. And I left it up over the tarp thinking that would be better. I don't know what the basis for that was. The answer is that no, it's not. So this time I'm going to put it underneath. Just trying to go over this all now so we could get to working. And this will eventually become a time lapse. But for now, let's just talk for a second. Everything has a tool. Everything has a purpose. Use the tools. Use the purpose. Unless you're me. Uh, question would be, what did I use to hold that down? And it's held down, considering that things have been popping up from underneath it. It's been holding down really well. Um, I had a jar full of nails that I did not purchase. Um, and that's what I used. I used nails. I hammered them in an angle, in the way that would go all down all the way. Ignore the injured finger. What did I about? Two and a half inches? They're about two and a half inches. Carpenter nails. Once again, ignore the finger. Nothing special. That's what I used. Like I said, I didn't pay for them. I think they were here when we moved in. Another wonderful thing that we got when we moved in. Or maybe a yard sale find. I'm not sure. They're rusted. They're gross. So if you do this right the first time, you're probably using the right tools anyways. But if you kind of do this right the first time and don't use the right tools, something like this will last you a while. It's been a little under a year. It hasn't gone anywhere. This stuff hasn't gone anywhere. Like I said, hopefully I'll lay it down right this time, so it'll look good, and I'm still not going to use the right tools. Right, hopefully we get this finished now. No more interruptions. What else do I have going on? Cheap tarp, crappy nails, good hammer, hose that I'm not going to fix. Sounds about right. Okay. One more thing before I got started. Because I do want to reuse the tarp. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's my finger? Where's my finger? Okay, over here. Way back over here. That laid down down yonder. Um, I don't just want to rip it out. So, because I use nails, let's use a crowbar. I got a medium-sized one and a tiny sized one. Okay? Obviously I'm gonna rip all this out and, and trash it, but I don't want to leave nails in the ground. So let's take them all out. Let's lift them. Let's be safe about this. Nails on the ground is not a safe idea. Not everything I say is wrong. Something is just right. Safety is always right. Be safe. Get the nails out.
this way I'm going. Oops. Unless you want. This way I'm going. On this side. Um, I'm making a time lapse on the other side, so I'll just start that side. Um, all at once. Um, yeah. Let me show you what, what why, why I got this. Alright, I'm gonna show you this one. And why I need it. This one. Okay. But, this works. I'm gonna keep rolling. I'm gonna see what's going on. So, it's just keeping, you know, I say, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No more problems. Okay, let me show you what's going on. Alright. See that? Look at that rock. I think it's rolling down this rock. That plant right there has a giant ball. I'm so excited about that one. Look at this. Look at this rock. This side. Oh, that's the finger. This side. I'm just trying to have one of that. There's some weeds here, but it's too mild. It snails a little bit. Alright, now let's get started on the next phase. Come on. Alright, let's do this. Let's trust me. Right now, I'm going to be using a little barrel. I might end up in a little barrel. What are you? Right around here. Ooh, on this concrete piece right here. I'm going to be using the pick on this whole area. And I'm going to shovel it from here. Do the little barrel right here. Let's do this.
All right, fragrant friends. I hope you have a flowerful day. I sure as heck didn't. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.